Our nurses and doctors, they're on the front lines fighting against COVID-19. And today we heard what it's like to care for patients who have the virus. 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMaster reveals what we can do to help them win the battle. The doctors and nurse we spoke to are seeing firsthand just how devastating COVID-19 can be. And they're pleading with the community to stay home. Right now, our patients are pretty restless. They're exhausted. That's what I'm seeing a lot, a lot of coughing. Ashley Adams is a registered nurse on the front line at the University of Kansas Health System. Over the past 24 hours, Adams unit shifted to strictly caring for patients who've tested positive for COVID-19. Previously, we were taking rule out COVID patients and the relief that they would see when we would come tell them, hey, we got your test back, it's negative. And you could just see in their face like, Whew, you know, and so now right now with dealing with the positives, you're not seeing that they're not getting that relief. Older adults and those with underlying medical conditions are more vulnerable to severe illness, but everyone is at risk. And we do see some young people who get sick and die from this. So don't think you're immune just because you're young. Chief you Medical Officer really Dr. Sick, Stephen Stites explains reason. why some patients become critically ill and others don't. In some cases, it's believed to be from something called cytokine storm, when your immune system launches a war against an invader. You can attack it with missiles and machine guns and all sorts of stuff. But sometimes the attack goes beyond its intended target. Sometimes it's like the body just lost control of that war and it starts launching so many missiles and so much artillery that the artillery starts to break down your own structure. When it comes to winning the war against COVID-19, doctors and nurses on the front line say they need us at home to help them help us. You want to help us? Stay home because that's what's going to keep you out of the hospital. As for how long people will be asked to stay home, no one knows. I am going to cross my fingers and hope by sometime in the summer, I will be at Royals Stadium watching the Royals take the field. And I'm gonna tell you, the first time I go there, I am gonna stand and cheer and I'll probably cry because that'll be a sign that we're better. And I can't wait. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.